Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. This is your daily relaxation hypnosis session for stress, anxiety and panic attacks. The idea of these daily sessions is to give you a progressive way to calm your mind on a daily basis so that when you're not listening to me, when you're not watching these videos, something inside you changes. So those situations in the past, when maybe a trigger during the day would cause you to um, have some kind of um, anxiety reaction. But now since you've been watching my videos, listening to my audios, something changes and there is no longer that instant reaction. There's a gap. There's like a softening. So, you know, that's just what happens naturally. As well as having the techniques which you can learn through these sessions, which you can do on your own in those situations. Um, I thought what I would do today is quite a short session, but it's setting up a trigger because we've got all these triggers anyway that are um, out there, you know, that maybe trigger us into having a specific emotional response we all have it it's just natural um, it helps to become aware of it because then you can do something about it you can actually say well no you, know, you can make a decision about whether or not you are going to allow yourself to be affected by an outside force um, so this is something that I learned when uh, I first learned NLP and uh, it's basically setting up a trigger between a finger and thumb uh, which is a trigger of feeling relaxed and comfortable and calm so that in a situation in your daily life or doesn't have to be during the day any situation maybe in a relationship maybe it's your boss that said something and you have a normally you'd have the instant trigger of feeling a certain way which is uncomfortable and not very nice you know unpleasant so you can change that feeling so with your trigger if that trigger triggers off anger then what you can do is set off your own trigger to combat to take over to replace that feeling that you don't want that like anger feeling upset feeling whatever it is you're feeling also remembering that it's just a feeling it's not taking away um the in the importance of you it's not i'm not taking away the uh the fact that actually you know you're a human being just like me and we are affected and it's normal to be affected by uh, someone who's being rude or something like that. But on the same side, there are things we can do and there are ways where we can be less affected by that. There are ways where you can change how you feel instantly by using this trigger it could be your left or your right finger don't worry i haven't taught you what it is yet you don't don't just do it now it's like but it's not working because i haven't done, gone through the process yet but the more you use it the easier it, it is to use the more instant you have that reaction and this is something that i've used myself i used to work in sales quite a high stress job and, and you know all based on targets and you know um 
had a lot of it was on on the phones so had a, a quite a few abusive verbally abusive people on the phones fairly often um so I, I had to didn't have to but i chose to use the trigger the relaxation trigger to just calm my body calm my mind so i could just move on to the next call because i might you know at the time i didn't really have the time to just leave the phone and go and sit down for 10 minutes because another call was waiting to come through so i needed to relax myself there and then calm my mind there and then in the instant in that particular moment so for this technique i don't know if i like the word technique but for this procedure this thing that we're going to do all it requires simply is just getting into a state physically of feeling relaxed and calm which you've done many times in the past you may have even done it yesterday when you listened to my uh, yesterday's session as an example and then you connect that feeling to pushing your finger and thumb together S as simple as that I've used this technique in the past with people having life saving operations you know that were very very ill and are able to reduce their anxiety a huge amount just by doing that and you know the rest of what I tell you so what I'd like you to do is to close your eyes if it's safe to do so first of all of course make sure you're in a comfortable chair or lying down on a on a bed or a comfortable flat surface make sure that the chair is safe for you just in case you fall asleep so that you don't fall off the chair okay make sure it's, it's a stable chair so you're okay just in case you fall asleep because I I do have a, a boring voice so sometimes people fall asleep listening to me even if it's not a, an insomnia sleep session um, so Again, that's a trigger. That's a trigger because a lot of people, they watch my videos specifically to fall asleep and then they watch a video that isn't about sleeping and they fall asleep because that's what they're used to doing when they hear my voice. Um, so if you close your eyes, it's safe to do so. And I'm just going to ask you to focus on your body. Normally what happens when you first start hearing me and during the last eight minutes of me talking you're going to feel more relaxed now than you were before anyway even though we haven't actually started the um, obvious relaxation session but there's that connection between my voice and you feeling relaxed it's just something that happens naturally and it's especially especially if you watch my videos regularly or listen to my audios regularly um you get used to again a trigger the trigger is a word that's very much coming up in this session it's a trigger for you to feel relaxed as is pushing your finger and thumb together a trigger for you to feel relaxed instantly and naturally so with your eyes closed, I'd like you just to focus on how you physically feel. You're not trying to cause yourself to feel relaxed. You're just going to notice how relaxed you naturally feel right now. And starting with the top of your head, moving down your face, your neck, your throat and the back of your neck, your shoulders, your arms, your wrists and your hands fingers your back from the top all the way down to the bottom of your back your hips and then your chest all the way down to your stomach and again down to your hips again moving all the way down your legs your knees 
calves and shins, your ankles and your feet, the tops of your feet, the bottoms of your feet, the heel of your feet and your toes. And then focusing on your mind, noticing how your mind has slowed down. Notice how your eyelids feel differently, feel more relaxed now. Maybe notice any sounds that you can hear in the background, either your side or mine. There's not a lot, a lot going on here. I can hear the traffic in a very, very distance, but not much else going on apart from my voice. And I wonder what you can hear. Maybe you can hear the weather. Maybe it's a bit windy, a bit breezy. Maybe you've got a clock in your room. You can hear that. Maybe you can hear the fridge in your kitchen. Maybe you have a, a cat or a dog. You can just hear, the, hear them walking around. Maybe you've got a neighbour and you can faintly hear them. And you can hear your own breathing, being aware of the sounds that you make naturally. And then you can be aware of the temperature of the air on your skin something that maybe we're not usually aware of. The temperature of the air on your face. It's like there's a, a little bit of breeze on your face even though there's no reason for the to be a breeze because there wasn't one or at least you didn't notice one before but now you maybe notice a very slight breeze of air on your face maybe on your hands and any other parts of your body that have not got clothing on. You can be aware of the physical sensation of uh, resting. Maybe if it's you're sitting on a chair, you can feel the chair supporting your weight or the bed supporting your weight. Again, if you're sitting on a chair, maybe you can feel your feet resting on the floor. And your buttocks resting against the chair. And your back maybe also resting against the back of the chair. If you've got an arm rest on your chair, maybe your, your arms are resting on them. Or your elbows, and you can just feel that sensation. Maybe your hands are resting on your lap or on your stomach. If you're laying down, you can notice how your hands feel against your body if they are resting on your stomach or your chest. If your hands are holding each other and your fingers are intertwingled, you know, like that, just maybe just undo them. Let your hands relax on their own if if you want to do that, if you feel comfortable to do that. Because you want to be able to move either your right or left finger and thumb together at some point in the very near future. So it's good just to have that hand free. As you notice the feeling of your back and your whole body being supported by the bed or by the flat surface. whatever is supporting you at this very second. Notice the back of your neck, notice your head being supported either by the bed or by your neck. But at the same time your head and the neck can feel loose.
what I'm going to do is like you to imagine you're on an escalator like the same kind of escalator maybe you'd have in a shop or a shopping mall or a train station tube station um, you know something like that maybe a big building and just imagine you're at the top of a long tall escalator and you're safe at all times and you start to go down from 20 all the way down to 1 you become 10 times more relaxed as I count down as you travel down the escalator you can actually see the numbers on the wall next to you as you travel down maybe the numbers will light up pointing downwards and when you get to one you'll feel so relaxed and calm and you'll be ready to set this trigger up this trigger of deep relaxation now ready for the escalator to travel downwards causing you to feel more and more deeply relaxed both physically emotionally as well also in your mind your mind can just completely let go now twenty nineteen eighteen seventeen Sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven. feeling this sensation of relaxation nine eight seven six Five, four, three, two, one. And just notice how your mind may be drifting and maybe it's a bit harder to focus on the words that I'm saying but at the same time you know that you can feel completely relaxed and also follow my instructions very simple instructions because now you can stand at the top of the next escalator this time from 10 to 1 going twice as relaxed going even deeper with every number and every time I say the number press your finger and thumb together on one of your hands ideally your prominent hand whichever right whatever hand you write with whether it's your right or your left pushing your finger and thumb together for the duration of the number and then let go and then press it together when I say the next number 
now. And every time you press that finger and thumb together, you'll feel a physical sensation of complete relaxation spreading over your entire body from the top of your head all the way down to the tips of your toes. Those feelings spreading down your arms and your legs, your feet and your hands, your face and your back, and your chest and your stomach, like a wave of fresh air filled with deep relaxation spreading through your entire body every time you push your finger and thumb together. Now I'm going to start counting down from 10 to 1 and every time push your finger and thumb together. Ten. Push your finger and thumb together. Twice as relaxed. And let go. Nine. Push your finger and thumb together. Twice as relaxed. Let go. Eight. Push your finger and thumb together twice as relaxed. Let go. Seven. Push your finger and thumb together twice as relaxed. Let go. Six. Push your finger and thumb together twice as relaxed. Let go. Five. Push your finger and thumb together twice as relaxed. Let go. Four. Push your finger and thumb together twice as relaxed. Let go. Three. Push your finger and thumb together twice as relaxed. Let go. Two. Push your finger and thumb together twice as relaxed. Let go. One. Push your finger and thumb together, twice as relaxed. And you can hold on together, finger and thumb, for as long as you need for your mind to assimilate and connect that signal and that trigger with your entire body and mind to feel completely relaxed instantly and naturally completely whenever you push your finger and thumb together relax let go And whenever you push your finger and thumb together in the future, you can feel instantly relaxed, physically and in your mind and emotionally, allowing you to cope with situations that maybe you found difficult in the past, allowing you to feel more relaxed in any situation that you choose. I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to three, you're going to open your eyes feeling alert, 
feeling content, feeling deeply relaxed. One, two, and everything that we've discussed in this session, all your new learnings will become part of you. And that connection between your finger and thumb causing and stimulating deep relaxation and pleasure both physically and mentally will become stronger every day and every time it's used allowing you to really have more of those feelings that you wish to have allowing you to deal with those situations in the future that may be in the past were a bit difficult but now as you look to the future you can see things differently three Open your eyes, wide awake. And you can just shake your body a bit if, you, if you're able to do so. Just uh, notice how you're feeling. Now, you might feel, well, you probably do feel completely relaxed anyway, naturally. But what I want you to do as a tester because there's no point doing this stuff if you don't test it it's all about getting results it's all about doing something useful for you you know that's why I'm doing this so the tester for this is think of a situation that's going to happen tomorrow or maybe in the next few days which you know is maybe it happens every day maybe it's a boss saying something and uh, in the past you've maybe found it to wind you up it just annoys you or something okay and think of that now nothing nothing major i don't need to think about anything huge just something that enough to uh, go from your comfort level from zero being really comfortable to maybe a four something like that where it's just like oh just winds you up maybe five even Notice what level it would be, 10 being the worst you could feel, 0 being the most relaxed and calm you could feel. Notice what number it is when you think about it. It already probably has reduced a bit because you're feeling calm and relaxed anyway and everything that happens in the future from now on will be easier to deal with because you've listened to this session and this, regardless of what you do with your fingers, this will have a, a major effect on your life because that's what it's for and that's why we have the daily ones so you can reinforce those feelings of comfort and the ability to deal with and cope with various situations in your life so you can have a happier life so think about that thing that's going to happen maybe tomorrow or you expect it to happen it's just a regular thing that happens that maybe pees you off just annoys you okay if let's say it's a four as an example just log log in your head what number it is on your annoyance level now think of that situation again think of it tomorrow happening and just notice that feeling notice the level it's at now press your finger thumb together Notice how that changes. And keep it together until that feeling changes and that relaxation rushes into that feeling and transforms it. It's kind of like a fire being covered in snow. Suddenly the fire just goes out. So just think about that thing now, just with your hands and fingers open, you know, just think about that thing now that's going to happen tomorrow. And notice what number it is now. 
Maybe it's gone down to a two. Maybe it's gone down to zero. But think about it again. If it's not gone down to zero, think about it again. See what number is that? And again, push your finger and thumb together. And hold it together until that number's gone down to a number that you're satisfied with. So that you feel completely relaxed and calm. Knowing that that situation will no longer affect you in the way it used to. And you do now have the ability to feel calm and relaxed. Whenever you choose. So you can play with that if you want. Play with that idea with different situations in your life. Um, I can add to it as well. There are other things that can be added to it. But, you know, I'm doing these every day. The idea was to do 10-minute sessions. But I seem to go on um, and do longer sessions. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to pan out. Because I'm doing it's half an hour, this one. But I hope it's been useful. My name is Jason, my website is jasonnewland.com. I made a few changes on my website, so um, I've no longer got all my sessions I've ever made on there because my archive of videos is on a YouTube channel, my archive of MP3s are on um, my SoundCloud channel, podcast. On my website, I've just got the sessions that I've made this year um, on there. So there's uh, 2017 onwards. So there's the daily hypnosis sessions for relaxation, the Tuesday pain relief sessions, and the Thursday sleep sessions. So that's you know every single one of those sessions you can download for free as MP3s. Okay, take care of yourself. If you're on YouTube now, the link to download the MP3 is in the information box, the description box. That link's there and it'll take you directly to the place where you can download this M as an MP3 and stick it on your um, phone or MP3 player of choice. Okay, you take care of yourselves. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you all for your support. And please subscribe if you like what I do. Please like the video, uh, comment, and um, please share it with other people. Maybe stick it on Facebook or whatever you can do to help. I appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.